whistle blowing is the process when a former or existing employee of the organization raises his voice against some unethical activities being carried out within the business organization and the person who raises such voice is known as the whistle blower there are certain barriers due to which the employees fear to raise a voice against any kind of illegal activity being carried out within the business organization so these are the barriers first one is threat to life a whistle blower can uh, face a retaliation from a seniors or from a employer which can even result uh, in uh, which can even be a life threatening one second is loss of job and careers the whistle blower can lose his job once he reveals the frauds or other malpractices of the business organization then there are legal issues so the whistle blower does not have a proper knowledge about the whistle blowing laws or the prevailing uh, activities of the organization so this can harm the whistle blower then there is resistance from senior management many organi- organizations have whistle blowing policies but it is not followed or implemented well within the organization then there is a cultural obstacle this type of obstacle arises when the environment of the business organi- organization does not motivate employees or we can say does not support whistle blowing culture then there is also a resistance from the various trade unions against any misconduct or breach of contract then the last one is employee fear of retaliation in this case the employees are hesitate to report any illegal activity as people in the higher authority may take revenge on them so these are the barriers which prevent the whistle blowing culture to develop within the organization these are the measures which the business organizations should take to promote whistle blowing culture within their uh, organizations open door culture whistle blowing policy is very successful only when uh, it when the organization has a open door policy or we can say the organization has open door culture any employee can raise their concern against any wrong doing or any other mal practices without any fear due to this open door uh, policy then comes that employees should be properly trained to know their rights and duties on whistle blowing and what procedure the employees should follow the employees must be trained and educate enough of various ways and aspects of whistle blowing so they can easily raise their concern regarding any illegal activity or wrong doing then all the stakeholders vendors employees consumers then suppliers should be given visibility on the whistle blowing policy of the business organization so that they can easily raise their concern regarding any issues next is need to act so whistle blowing policy and procedure are not something that is just for the listening appropriate action should be taken once the complaint is received regarding any illegal or illegal activities or mal practices then organization should uh, show full complete commitment towards uh, building a culture where employees should mm, feel free to raise their uh, voice against any type of unethical activities then communication so official communication can be done through the official letters or newsletters then presentations in order to promote uh, whistle blowing culture within the company or a business organization and the last is proper investigation and follow up so while uh, uh, we can say that uh, whistle blowing concern should be taken care properly in case of any delay the concern loses its meaning and the business organization loses its credibility so if the organization follows these measures it can easily remove the barriers of whistle blowing and a good whistle blowing culture 
can uh, be created within the business organization. So, this was all in this lecture session on whistle blowing. Thank you.